Hey everybody, welcome back! Where today we're gonna cover two Pokemon that have very similar new abilities um, that interact with Tailwind um, and a new kind of move, which is not a new kind of move. There's like a new move category that they've assigned to a bunch of moves. It's called Wind Moves. Um, let me pull up a list really quick so we can look at all of them. <clears throat> Let's see here. Yeah, so these are all of the moves that have been categorized as wind moves. Um, we've got Air Cutter, Bleak Wind Storm, which is Bleak Wind Storm, Stansteer Storm, and Springtide Storm. And I think there's one more. Wild Boat Storm are the four moves that the the genies have. So like Landorus, Thunderous, Tornadus, and Enamorous. Those are their new signature moves. So this will actually maybe be more relevant when those get released because those are going to be like their best moves to use. Um, just keep it, keep it, keep that in your mind. Um, so basically, Air Cutter, Bleak Wind Storm, Blizzard, Fairy Wind, Gust, Heat Wave, Hurricane, Icy Wind, Petal Blizzard, Sandstorm, Storm, Sandstorm, Spring Tide Storm, Tailwind, Twister, Whirlwind, and Wind Bolt, Wild Bolt Storm <coughs> have all been categorized as wind type moves, and that's for two Pokemon specifically, and that is Bramblegast and Kilowattrel. Now they have these new abilities. Um, Bramblegast has the ability Wind Rider, which says that if Tailwind starts or you get hit by a wind move, you get plus one attack and you're immune to wind moves. So all of those moves that we just listed, um, except for Sandstorm, I don't know why Sandstorm is on here because it doesn't do it, it doesn't interact with this ability at all. Um, but basically, if Tailwind starts while Bramblegast is on the field or Bramblegast gets hit with one of these wind type moves, you get plus one attack, which is neat. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I like just woke up and I was drinking last night, so my throat's very dry. <laughs> I have water, but it's not enough. Um, so yeah, it's like a really cool, like new kind of thing where we have like this wind move thing going on. Um, now, unfortunately, all of those moves that were on the wind move list, it's really hard to take advantage of them to like hit yourself. Um, the only one is Petal Blizzard, which I have put on this Lilligant to like kind of see what we can do with that. Um, and then Kilowattro has a very similar ability called Wind Power. Basically, if, if there is, it's hit by a wind move or Tailwind begins, it becomes charged. So your next electric type attack does double damage, which is, that's how charged works. Um, it is specifically become charged. I think it's really similar to how Belly Bolt's ability works, where if it gets hit by a physical attack, it becomes charged. Same kind of deal, except it's wind moves or Tailwind. Um, <clears throat> so basically, I'm just trying to use these two Pokemon. This isn't like a super competitive team. I just wanted to show off what they can do. Um, we're not making serious, serious teams yet. I'll go over the rest of it really quick here. Let me talk about Bramblegast and Kilowattrel. Um, I'm running just Max Attack, Bramblegast, Max Max Speed, um, Adamant, Power Whip, Strength Sap, Phantom Force, Terra Blast with Terra Rock Typing, because I figured it'd be good to hit like flying types and stuff that we're going to struggle against with, you know, just like Rock Stab if we decide to terrestrialize our Bramblegast. It hits really hard after you get that attack boost, because its attack stat's like a decent attack stat. And going plus one for free is pretty nice. Um, the Kilowattrel, <clears throat> basic idea here is that we can set Tailwind and then get a stupid strong Volt Switch out because it'll be 140 base power Volt Switch coming off of our 105 special attack. Um, super, super cool stuff. And we can also set Tailwind ourselves because Kilowattrel does get Tailwind. And I've noticed <clears throat> there's a lot more, people are more willing to use slow Tailwind users in this kind of a format because, well, first of all, we only have two priority Tailwinds, and it's Talonflame and Murkrow, and they're not, like, the best Pokemon. But the other reason is just that, um, because there's no Dynamax, there's not as much pressure to get the Tailwind out really fast. It's it's kind of more worth it to run, like, f like, six good Pokemon instead of, like, sacrificing a slot for fast Tailwind, if that makes sense. Um, because everything is really strong in this regional dex, like, at least on average. The things in this regional decks are way faster and way stronger than they are in most regional decks. I'm running the Lilligate with the Petal Blizzard, um, just because it's the only thing. We're running Covert Cloak Chlorophyll. <clears throat> um, what? Impish? It's supposed to be, uh, Jolly. I don't know why it's Impish. I guess I missed. Um, we're just running, like, Jolly <laughs> Lilligant. Um, with max, max HP, max speed. Um, just to, like, hit stuff with Petal Blizzard after you Sleep Powder stuff. Um, the Torkoal's here. Specs, Torkoal plus Lilligant is still pretty reliable. 
um, to be completely honest. So that's why it's here. Um, I think it's going to be able to do stuff if we want it to do stuff. Running Murkrow, um, it's just the best. It's I think, I think personally it's the best Tailwind, um, priority Tailwind. I think Talonflame's probably good, but I wanted to run the Murkrow because it has Haze and the Dungeon Tazagiri is all over the place. We also have Foul Play and Taunt. Um, good stuff going on there. And then I'm running Eviate Light Stantler as my Intimidate Pokemon because I just wanted to try it out and it gets Trick Room and that can be good for our Torque Hole. So I think maybe like Eevee Light Stantler can have a niche. I'm pretty sure that Stantler is available in the game um, and Showdown isn't lying to me. So we're going to try this out today. Without further ado, guys, let's jump into some battles. Um, they finally gave us Battle Stadium doubles. We'll see how we do. I kind of built this team in doubles OU, so um, we'll see if it lets us do the thing. As always, guys, make sure you leave the likes and the comments and go ahead and stick around and subscribe because we're trying to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. And, I, you know, I feel like we're going to get really close, but I'm, I'm not confident we're going to hit it. So if y'all could, like, blow up this video and just subscribe, that'd be crazy. Okay. <clears throat> I think Jumpluff might actually be the best Tailwind user because it has Chlorophyll Tailwind. Jump Luff's like a low key, a really good Pokemon. Um, Iron Hands is scary. Okay, so Sun is really good because Fluttermane is just insane. Um, and I don't outspeed it, I don't think. Let me think here. 205. No, I should outspeed because I'm going to be 156 times 2 and they'll be 205. I should just barely outspeed them by, by like 2. That's so bad. Um, okay, let me think. But Bramblegast and... I'll oh, Kilowattril outspeed, but not Bramblegast. Alright, let's go for Kilowattril. I'm running Protect on my Murkrow. That's bad. Alright, let's go Kilowattril, Murkrow. Um, I don't know if the Bramblegast is going to be good here. I can't outspeed Fluttermane if they have the sun up. Don't want to bring it anyway. I don't think it's going to be good here. I think I'll go just like Lilligan Torkoal in the back. I don't think it's worth it to bring the Intimidate. All right, yeah, so just go fake out whatever. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> Iron Hands, unfortunately for me, is a big fat meanie. Um, all right, let's see if we can get off Volt Switch plus Tailwind. They're probably going to fake me out, and I'm very scared for that. Yeah, there it is. Whoa! Murkrow is not bulky at all. Oh, yeah. That's really bad. Um, let me just bring Lilligan in. Let's see if they go for, like, Sleep Powder. There's the Tailwind. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, let me think. What is this Jump Luff going to do? I think I need to <coughs> Sleep Powder Iron Hands. And... Let me just switch to Torkoal. I feel like that's safest. Um, okay, I don't like that. I really don't like that. But, you know, I really can't do anything about it. I don't have great attacking moves on this on this dude here either. Alright, well, they have a chance to wake up this turn and I don't. So I'm just going to start Petal Blizzarding because it's the only thing I can do. Ouchies. Oh, that did no damage. We are max HP Lil again, aren't we? I'm hitting myself though, which is not ideal. Okay, now I have a chance to wake up, but like, you know, let's see if we wake up, I guess. If I get lucky and somehow wake up before them, that'd be cool. Ow. Okay, wake up, Turkle. Oh, that's bad. They're guaranteed to wake up this turn. So all I can do is hope that I wake up and get the eruption off. Yeah, let's go. How much do we do? Iron Hand is so bulky. Drain Punch. Okay, hey, we live that. We live that. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, so I don't outspeed right now because Fluttermane is insane. Um... I could just protect an eruption. I wonder how much I even take from Dazzling Gleam. Mmm. Protosynthesis is so good, man. Let's try it. This is probably a bad idea, but let's see. Protect. 
Dazzling Gleam. Oh, that's so much damage. And now Iron Hands hits me. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, that's so bad. All right, yeah, we just lose. So yeah, Iron Hands and uh, Fluttermane are probably the two best dudes because I Iron Hands is so bulky. They took literally, it's not even resisted. They took 50% from Corkoal Eruption in the Sun with choice specs. Um, Iron Hands is ungodly bulky and Fluttermane is just so good. We definitely have our work cut out for us with the team that I made here because it's not like a great team. Um, it's so fast. So it hits 300 something. I don't know how to speed it. Hmm. After Tailwind. I don't know how to speed it after Tailwind. That's just crazy. All right, let's go for the Bramble Ghast. And then we'll bring, let's go Torkoal Stantler this time. Because Stantler can maybe switch in on Fluttermane. And we have Shadow Ball. So it actually might be a pretty decent Fluttermane counter. I just would like to point out again that I don't know really what I'm doing. I just kind of threw this team together a couple days ago. And it was for doubles OU. And then I changed all the EV, all the levels to 50 and added Stantler because it was different before. Let's see. <laughs> <clears throat> I think there's potential in these Pokemon, but because of all the, all the, especially, well, I mean, norm, like, like regular, the regional decks is just way faster and stronger than it normally is, but especially because of all of the Paradox Pokemon, they're all like super min-maxed except for Slitherwings for some reason. All right, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, right? We're kind of boned. Not gonna lie to the people. Because I I need to run... I guess I need to run Jolly. Because I don't outspeed anything right now. Maybe if I Terrastalize to Rock right now, I can take a hit. Let's try it. Although I don't really have... Let's do it. Why not? Let's go for it. Oh, I outspeed? Oh, we get the KO? Let's go. And then she overheats me and I die, right? Oh, Heat Wave. We're immune to Heat Wave. <laughs> they don't know what Wind Rider does. <laughs> um, okay, what do I want to do now? I can Terra Blast, right? Let me... <clears throat> Let me think here. How do I want to do this? What's scarier? Dragonite's not as scary as the Chi Yu is right now. Let me go for Terra Rock thingy. And foul play the same slot. Okay, they try slice the normal. That's cool. We break sash. If they have sash, we cut we knock it out. Alright, Bramble Gas is doing things. The Dragonite's gonna hit me with Iron Head. Oh, that's bad. Um. Ooh. Um, okay, let's get Stantler in. They are in fact blocking things. That's okay. Let me they're probably gonna extreme speed my Murkrow. I'm gonna get Trick Room up. <clears throat> and just foul play the Dragonite here because they don't oh they extreme speed Stantler. That's great. Oh That's great. Wait <clears throat> Snarl is fine We get to have Torkoal now and we are in we are like specs locked into whatever we pick But we can helping hand eruption right now And yeah, they can snarl me, but this Arcanine still doesn't want to take this. Okay. That's really mean. <laughs> I Don't like that you're really mean. Um, oh, but all they have left is Arcanine. Okay, let me just click Hypnosis. Was I slower? Oh, I guess I didn't get to see. There's a good chance I'm slower. Um, depends on how they're training their Arcanine. I doubt that they're min speed. Oh, they just protect. That's pretty messed up. Nope. I just gotta go for Hypnosis. That's really all I can do. But I, th I think maybe we can win this if we're lucky. That's like good damage still. Am I slower? Yeah. Yeah. What's gonna do more, Shadow Ball or, cause I'm a minus two. I think the Helping Hand KOs. Okay, they just give up. Great, perfect, we did it. Bramblegas did the things. <laughs> that means that they weren't max speed. I wonder if people just aren't running max speed. That's a Skeledurge. Um, they don't have a Trick Room setter unless, Mer oh, I guess Gothitelle gets Trick Room, right? Let me think. Um. This is scary. I think I have to go Bramble Gas just because it can't get faked out here. But then I don't have any way to Tailwind. 
Well, I could go... Hmm. <clears throat> I think Paldean Tauros could actually be really cool, too, because it's like... Aqua Jet stuff. Um, I want the attack boost, but All right, let's go Bramble Gas Lil again, and then mm, Stantler Torkoal. Let's see. All right, okay. You know I can live with this choice, maybe. Um, the only problem is that they're gonna have Tailwind because I decided to not bring Tailwind. Let me just do that and. I could just switch to Torkoal. Because I feel like they're going to, like, sucker punch, right? Let's go... Let's... Hmm. That Tailwind is going to be real nuts. Yeah, let me switch to Stantler and switch to Torkoal. Let's see. Bonk. Skabonk. Let's see what they go for. Oh, they just protect. Flower trick. Oh, I could have just, like, smacked this Meowskerator for free. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and Trick Room and just click Eruption. They switched to Skeledurge. Okay. They're still going to take... Oh. They're running Rain Dance Murkrow? I don't like that. That's really weird. I'm going to Hypnosis Skeledurge and... Hmm. Why are they running Raindance Murkrow? That's so weird. Okay. They're running Water-type Skeledurge. That did a lot of damage. I missed the Hypnosis, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Was that... Oh, it was terrible. I was like, was that Liquidation? Like, jeez. Um, do I take that if I... I do... Okay. Um. Okay, let me switch to Torkoal. Go for the Power Whip. Oh, they switched back to Masquerade. Okay. Is the Murkrow gonna like foul play me? Oh. Oh, it's not Intimidate. Okay. Hmm. Well, now I can just Eruption for free, right? Let me do that. I feel like there's not really a... I mean, they can protect or whatever, but... I'm gonna do that and switch to Stantler. They're not running Intimidate either. Oh, is it Anger Point? It's gotta be Anger Point, right? Does Masquerader protect too? It does. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna Eruption again. And... Let me try to... Let me just Helping Hand. Let's see how much this does. They don't really have anything to do for this. This is probably going to be the last game. <clears throat> this is really funky. I did not make a very good team. <laughs> that was great. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Um, Can I get another Trick Room off? No, I'm not. The Stantler is not bulky enough. I feel like it should... Oh, you know, maybe the Eevee Eli is not doing anything. That could be it. Because technically Stantler doesn't evolve in this game yet. Yeah, that's probably what's going on here. I'm going to click Eruption anyway, because I feel like it's going to do a lot of damage. And I'm going to click Helping Hand into it. Go ahead and set the rain, I don't care. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to KO you anyway. Yeah. Now all they have left is Skeledurge. And since Trick Room's not up, Bramblegast should just, like, deal with it, right? Oh, yeah, especially because it's Water-type. <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. We're doing great. Because now I can switch to Lilligant, right? And I can even Strength Sap and get, like, a bunch of HP back. And we should be fine. Slurp. Oh wow, I didn't get as much back as I thought I was going to. 
That's okay. Let's see, let's see. Lillian's faster. Yeah, let me just pedal blizzard and power whip. That was a weird game. <laughs> That's probably one of the weirdest games I've played so far, to be completely honest. Um, yeah. All right, yeah, that's the video, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing these two Pokemon do stuff. The Bramble Gas did a lot more work than the Kilowattril did. Like I guess I feel like there's a little bit of potential in both these mods, but they really are kind of funky. Because, I don't know, I feel like Bramble Gas is a little bit better because it gets, it, 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 had, it essentially has three immunities with the ability Wind Rider, which, yeah, I mean, you know, there aren't that many wind type moves, but the Heat Wave, it came in handy. It came in handy. We were immune to the Heat Wave, so... That's a pretty common move in VGC. I don't know. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave me the likes and the comments. If there's a specific Pokemon you'd like to see, let me know. I'll try my best here. Um, with that, everybody, go ahead and subscribe. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.